Shalom, my fellow Hebrew Israelite, Hebrew being the language, Israelite being the nationality. Uh, I'm coming out different today. What what this scripture does is it, it, very important, but I'm trying to uh, brighten your horizon. Brighten your horizon. She so called a lot of time we read the Bible, we stay read in Matthew, Luke, and John. And we go no further. Now, this is what I'm gonna be dealing with, with what you see on the news every day or every other day, depending on what channel you watch. They even made movies about these things. But what I have found to realize is that the so-called Edomites or so-called other six nations, they cannot hold it. So they have to put it in a movie, put it in a book. And we look at the entertainment part, but not the, the perspective of what they're trying to tell you. So what I'm about to tell you, it, 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 some might grasp it, some might not. But I'm gonna give you scriptures to go to. You so, see, the Lord wants us to open up, us, open up our mind toward this Bible. The Bible have everything in it that you need to sustain yourself. Great information in it. Now, it's whether you believe the information or not. But just like the Bible say, just because of your non-belief, don't make it not true. I gotta give out a couple of scriptures, you know, to, to 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 try to help us understand this before I get to it. Uh, simple. I call this. Simple Negroes. How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? The Lord is saying you got the variety. You got, you got to take your mind to another level. You got to get spiritual with this, not carnal. Now, this is what the Lord say. The Lord say, check this out. The Lord say, how long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? How long will you keep your mind on milk when you should be eating meat right about now? At this, this uh, day and time, we should be eating meat. We shouldn't be stuck on milk. This word should be, we should be getting deep. We should get out of Matthew, Matthew Mark, Luke, and John. Them good books, but we got to go beyond them books. Because beyond them books is very important information. The Lord said in Psalms 147, 19 through 20, He showed His word only to Jacob. Jacob is the 12 tribes of Israel. That's the so-called Negroes, Native American Indian, and so-called uh, uh, Spanish. Okay. The Lord said he showed his word only to Jacob. This word only for us. That's why they don't understand it. Because the Lord only gave it to us. We can pick it apart. But some us use it in a negative way. Or either uh, not, okay, yeah, a negative way or use it for gain. They use it for gain, to make money off of it. They call them charlatans. But the law would deal with them on their cases. It's time for us to be a man. Because it takes the man to learn the Bible to teach his wife and teach his kid. Teach his wife and she teach the kid. So if we're not going to be a man, the law would say, hey, be a man. First King 2 and 2. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore show thyself a man. It's time for the men to stand up in the family and be a man. This word is deeper than what they're trying to show you. It goes deeper than that. And, and, and the reason why I'm, 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 I'm saying this is because what I'm about to get into is going to blow a lot of your mind. Do it the most high say. My sheep, that's, that, that's what I titled. John 10, 27. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. See what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to get you to get there. So when you hear this word and you God sheep, it'll, re it'll resonate with you. If you're not, you won't, it won't resonate with you. Saying, this the law in, in, in Psalm 94, 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoer? That's a question. Or who will stand up for me? Against the workers of iniquity. Iniquity means sin. It's time for us to stand up as men. It's time for us to, to guide our family back. It's time for us to show some structure. It's time for us to, 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 to do what the Most High want us to do. So this word is what I'm going to bring this word to her. But a lot of people won't get it. 
but I, I got to show it. The first one, the, the, the name of the topic is UFO or chariots. See, the name even sounds funny. UFO or chariots. Okay. If you go to the Black Panther, everybody along the Black Panther. You seen that ship that they were they were flying around? That was that they used that. That's the chariot of the Bible. That's what they try to make. That's the chariot of the Bible. And when I get to reading the scripture, you understand. Oh, what's the other one? The other one is uh, uh, Independence Day. War of the World. All these spaceships. UFO or chariots. And I'm going to prove it to you in the Bible in 25 minutes. Just follow along. Write these scriptures down. And you will get it. Okay. Ezekiel 1 and 4. Ezekiel 1 and 4. I I'm going to give it to you. Ezekiel 1 and 4. Okay. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud and a fly and a fire and flounder itself. I mean, it surrounded itself. And the brightness was about it. And out of the midst thereof, as the color of amber, out of the midst of fire. Okay. That's the chariot. He talking the whirlwind consists of you know, like this here. So when they look in there, they see it engulf and fire. This whole thing surrounding in fire. Okay. If you look at if you look at uh, Independent Day, you see it in the midst of that spectrum. First, it looked like a glog of fire. It was surrounding different colors. Orange, blue, and all that different colors. And when the fire came in the midst of that fire was the spaceship. Where in the midst of this whirlwind is the chariots. Now, you have heard the old song, the Negro song, come on. Come on, come on, chariot, sweet, sweet, sweet low chariot, come on to carry me home. Sweet low chariot, come on to carry me home. Swing low chariot, come on to carry me home. I'm sorry. Swing low chariot, come on to carry me home. I'm going to show you a scripture where the Bible said that he swore low and picked up all the children of Israel in the chariot. They know this. It's for a fact, so because we're not, we're not, we don't, we're not used to this. That's why they're making moves about it. Would I just describe you what you just seen in the movie? Would I just describe you seen in Black Panther? Okay, I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna give you scriptures and you can you can search the scriptures out. I'm giving you scriptures. And Ezekiel 1 16, the appearance of a wheel, in the appearance of a wheel, their works were like unto the color. The, 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 the color of the wheel, the color, it was colorful. And Burrell, Burrell is I look it up. I looked at the word Burrell, it means light green. So it was light green. And their four had one likeness, and their appearance and their work was as were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. That's, how, that's the only way Ezekiel knows how to explain it to you. A wheel spin. And the color that it gave off like a, a green, a greenish color. And it's just spinning. That's how Ezekiel is. What is that? They show you, remember the old movie, War of the World? That thing just spinning. And there was sparks coming off of it. They can't hold it. They know the Bible better than us. Because we're not studying it. So they can't hold it so they make movies about it. But you're not, you're not paying attention to the movie. You're just looking at all the action around it. But in the Bible, it describes the same thing you just seen on the movie. War of the World, the old one, not the one that came out in the 60-something. You can pull it up. They still show it. And, we, and, and see what it is. You notice the military is always fighting them. Because they know that that is us, the Hebrew Israelite, that the Lord going to swing low and pick us up in the chariot and take us up. And when the World War III is over, then we're coming back. It's very difficult to understand because it's not really difficult. It's just that we're not used to this truth. Let me keep going. Now, I, 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 I don't want it to be long. And in the living creature, okay, in the living creature, the living creature, I looked it up. It was like a man. The living creature looked like a man. Okay, I looked it up in the Bible dictionary. It said the likeness of a man. That's what it looked like. You go to Ezekiel 1 and 5. You go to Ezekiel 1 and 5, the living creature looking like it in the likeness of a man. Okay, there you go. Also, out of the midst of came the likeness of four living creatures. So I looked it up. It, it, there you go. It, it, it ain't hard to find. They had the likeness of a man. 
There were four living creatures that had the likeness of a man. That's what it meant. And Ezekiel 19, and when the living creature went, the wheel went by them. So it's, it's, it's like the likeness of a man and, and the thing spinning, but the man is standing there, but he ain't going nowhere. He, it's because that means that somebody in there and it's spinning, but he ain't moving. They're like a spaceship. It's spinning, but the people ain't going back and forth like this. They're just sitting in there. It's like they're in the middle of the wheel, okay? And when the living, when the, when the living creature was lifted up from the earth, the wheel were lifted up too. Because they in there. So when they lift up, they lift up. Okay, I'm going to keep going. I, I want you to get this and get it going. Now, this very, it's very interesting. When those went, and when those went, these went. Because they in there. It, 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 it's spinning, but the people ain't spinning. That's a spaceship. So it, it, they in there, it's just spinning, but that's how it's moving. Like you in an airplane. The airplane moving, you just sitting still, but you in the airplane. The airplane go, you go. The spaceship move, you move. But it's really not a spaceship, it's the chariots. If you, if you can remember when you go back, when Moses took the people out of Egypt, what it was, it was a pillow of cloud by day, and it was a whirlwind by night. There were chariots watching over them. Just like you see in the movie, when it was a, the, the, the spaceship, and, and it was a pillow of fire around it. I'm trying to break it down as easy as I can because it's very difficult because people, that's why I told you how long it should be simple. You got to open up your mind. It, 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 I mean, it's, it's self-explanatory in some of that. Okay? Okay, that's what it was. Now go to uh, uh, Psalms 104. Psalms 104, please. Psalms 104. Psalms 104. 104, 3. 104, 3. Who laid, who laid the beam of his chamber in the water, who makes the cloud his chariots? They talking about the Lord. They said, who makes the chamber in the water, the Lord makes the chamber. All these different uh, uh, lakes and rivers, the Lord did that. Okay, who makes the cloud chariot? The cloud, the, the Lord makes the cloud His chariot. That means He like floating on it. He making that His car. Basically, that's His car. He riding the chariot. That's the Most High. That's He riding the chariot. Who walks upon the wing or the wind? That's the Most High. The the the, the chariot is gliding across the wind. The Lord trying to tell you them not spaceship them. Him sending angels to protect us. They come and watch us every now and then. See how we doing. They watching us. So when you see those spaceships shooting across the sky, you done seen plenty of shows on the news. Shooting, shooting across there. Them are not UFOs. They know what they are. Them are chariots. That's why I'm giving you these scriptures to go to. Okay? This is a precept. This is a precept. Among, uh, with that story, go to Amos 9 and 6. This is a precept to that. See, I, 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 I did my research on it because I know I need all the ammunition I need to get to it because it's hard for people to understand that because they don't understand it. Go to 9-6. Amos 9-6. Okay. And he, it is he that builds his story. In the, it is the Most High that builds his story, his house in heaven, has found his troops in the earth, us. And he that calleth on the water or the sea, the most high, and the power them out upon the face of the earth, the Lord is his name. The Lord got power to do everything. This is what he's doing for us, y'all. That's a precept to that. Lord shall I build my house in the heavens. That's where we're going. How you think he's going to get there? The nuclear bomb, they're going to drop this nuclear bomb. The Lord going to swing low, pick us up in the chariot, going to take us up into the heavens because it's, it's more than one heaven, regardless of what y'all want to say. That's why the Bible says heaven is with an F on it, S on it. He's going to take us to the third heaven. We're going to sit here and let all, let them, they're going to destroy the earth with the nuclear bombs. You have seen the movie, The Terminator. You've seen the movie, The Terminator, when Sarah Connor was having dreams, she was in the park. And the bomb dropped. They telling you all in the movie. That bomb is a nuclear bomb they're going to drop. They're going to suck your eye sockets out. So if you left here, that's what's going to happen to you. 
The Lord is going to judge all nations. Okay. Go to Psalm 68. Psalm 68. I'm trying to give it to you as quick as I can now. But I want you to take this stuff down and do your research on this. It's very interesting. The chariot going to swing low and pick us up. The chariot going to swing low and pick us up. This is what this is all about, folks. I know it seems very difficult to us because we're not used to this kind of information. They don't want to give us this information. 17, 6 to 8, 17. Because they don't want you to know how you're going to get, how you're going to get the way you're going. God wants you to put on your spiritual thinking. 17, Psalm 6 to 8, 17. The chariots of God are 20,000. Even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them. As inside now. You remember when Moses went up there? And the Lord was in a pillar of cloud. When he talked to Moses. Okay? In the holy place. That's holy ground. Sinai was holy ground. I'm going to read it again. In the chariots of God. Okay, a chariot. You know the chariot is. You don't see the Roman movie. But the Lord. Them not really like chariot. What you see. That's like, it's going to be like, basically like what you see on the movie, the spaceship type deal. He's going to swing low and scoop us up. So the chariot, he said chariot with an S on it. Even thousands of angels. What are them angels coming for? Because when that chariot comes, see, this is why they're building the military in space. I know it sounds too fast, people, but please, the Lord said, yeah, it's time for us to drink milk now. So I'm going to a rim that you don't know nothing about, but you got to soak this in. You got to read and study. That's what I'm getting to you. 6 to 8, 17. He got chariots with an S on it, and he got thousands of angels. They riding in those spaceships. They call them spaceships, but them chariots for the Lord. They know. That's why every country right now today got military in space. They go out there and live for years at a time. They're getting their arsenal ready because when the Lord cracked that sky, they gonna first thing gonna be fighting each other. Then when the Lord comes, they're gonna turn around, everybody gonna try to fight the Lord. The Lord gonna take us up on the chariot, get us out of the way while the Lord destroyed them. You done heard you, you done heard them back in the day, but you never knew what they were talking about. It should have been 10,000 angels in there. What the angels come here for? The Lord's time a man of war. They gonna he gonna be like a circle and sweep this earth apart. Okay, I, I want to get going. Okay, go to Judges, go to Judges 512 on these precepts. These are precepts to what I'm just reading, 512. Because I, I, I want to make sure I get it right. I want nobody to say I'm lying. I'm teaching false doctrine. Awake, awake, Deborah. Awake, awake. Order the song as Barak and lead thy, lead thy captivity captive. The son of Abram. See, this, this, we going to take back. See, lead thy captives captive. They had took us into captivity. So now we're going to lead them into captivity. So after this, after all this stuff going on, we're going to come back on the earth and they're going to bow down to God rule. They're going to bow down to God rule. You are going to be the gods of the earth. But right now we're dying like men because of, of, of sin. See, that's what he's saying. We're going to take the ones. Y'all know we was in slavery. You can't doubt that. You know it. You've seen it. But they tell us to be quiet about it. But just the other day, there's only 75 on living. They just had a memorial for them in Poland. They walk up underneath this, I guess where they were slaves at in this camp. They walk underneath. They celebrate that. But they tell you to be quiet. But I'm here to give you a voice to tell you what thus says the Lord. All you got to do is follow these scriptures and you will get it. The Lord said they led us into captivity. They going to go into captivity. Our time coming. We can, he go, we're going to have angels fighting our battle. We ain't have to do it. But when we come back, you done heard a thousand years on earth. Well, that thousand years of when we're going to come back, they're going to rebuild this planet. The earth coming down. It ain't nothing going to be in space. It, the heavens coming down. You say, I seen the new heaven. This going to be the, when, when, when we going to make the heaven. We going to clean it up because when after they destroy it, the same way we built the planet, all the so called Israelites, we built this planet. All the 12 tribes. Don't tell me we, we built everything here. They call us lazy, but we built everything. So they're going to come back and destroy it. We're going to come back. We're gonna, they're going to be out. That's how they're going to be our slaves. And we're going we gonna, to, the same way 
that they did us, we going to do them. They're going to build this planet back up like it's supposed to be. They're going to be ruled by a rod of iron. They're going to obey this word of God. I'm just telling you, read. I'm giving you the scripture for you to read, okay? Go to Isaiah, please. Isaiah 66. I'm, uh, it's going to be right on time. Isaiah 66. Isaiah 66. Isaiah 66. Isaiah 66, please. 66, 15. Okay. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots. The Lord coming back, people. They won't teach you this in church. I'm going to teach you this here. Them chariots are for real. Your ancestors sung them songs. Swing low, sweet chariot, come on to carry me home. Where in the hell did African not... So-called nigga get that doing slavery. Where did we get that from? Somebody before the slavery taught them. Somebody before the one that got captured taught them. Somebody before the one that escaped from Jerusalem in 65 AD taught them. It kept passing on down. You done heard it before. You can't say you can't. You ain't heard it. You can't deny the truth. The truth is the truth. And the Lord said in Isaiah 66, 15, For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and will he chariot like a whirlwind to render anger with fury. See that? Everybody tell you that God coming back with sweet. This man coming back with anger and fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. The flames of fire is the nuclear bomb that's going to destroy this earth. And he coming back on chariot. Them are not UFO. That's the most high. Got the angels flying around checking on us. And the people know that. But we don't know it because our mind is still simple. They are way God gave them that gift of war. So they know all about the military stuff. We, our gift was everlasting life. That's why they're so evil. That's why they love war. They've been doing that since the Saxons. They've been doing that since the beginning of time fighting. That's what they give. They make weapons. They can do that. So they try to make weapons so when the Most High come on them chariots, they're going to turn around and try to fight the Most High. I, people, I want you to study this and go get your Bible. You can ask your pastor, somebody. You got to get a hold of somebody. Okay, who you get a hold of? Get somebody who's going to teach you this word because this is what's going to happen. So you won't be in shock when you see them chariots come down and you can't get on it. You don't wish to God you would have listened when that chariot come down. If your ancestors singing a song saying, swing low, sweet chariot, and here I am giving you scriptures based on what the Most High say, is Isaiah 66, 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots. The man, I'm, I don't know what else to tell you, people. I promise you got to get this. This is very important. Okay, look, I got to move on. That's Isaiah 15 and 16. For, for by fire and by his works, by his sword, he comes with his word. And with the Lord plead with all flesh. He going to plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. The slain of the Lord shall be many. So y'all saying God love everybody. God is this loving thing. God come back. He just told you he come back with a sword. He going to cut your neck off. He said the slain shall be many. We already know two-thirds of the niggas got to die. That's in Zechariah. But he said slain shall be many. They not teach you in the church because they won't teach you all about the law story. But God said I'm coming back. If you, when that chariot come, people, and it's swaying low and you can't get on that chariot, you done. Okay, anybody who's seen uh, Voltron with Iron Man them in there, Captain America. And remember that planet they was on, about to get destroyed, but then uh, 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 your boy, uh, uh, what his name is? He's supposed to be Fury. Fury came and had that, it had that like a special, like a chariot, and those small chariots came along, picked them people up and took them on to the mothership. Y'all seen the movie? This the same thing. That chariot coming down, if you're not on it, you're dead. The Lord shall be slain with many. Okay, let me go to the next one. The Lord shall be slain, and, it's, and the slain shall be with many. I'm just telling you what it is. You can believe me or not. Hey, go to Daniels. Go to the book of Daniels. The book of Daniels. Seven and nine. Seven and nine. Okay. I'm giving it to you, people. And I'm explaining. I'm breaking it down to you how it's going. I'm giving it to you and breaking it down how it's going. Daniel 7 and 9. Okay, here it go. I beheld, the Daniel talking, to the throne was cast down in the ancient of day. Ancient of day is the most high. 
did sit whose garment was white as snow and his hell was like unto a pro wool, pro wool black people. His throne was like a, a fierce flame. He in that chariot. That chariot, what they're going to call the spaceship, he's sitting in that chariot with the fire going around him. His wheels are as burning fire. You, know, you seen the chariot? He, he's trying to describe it. You never seen, you never seen Hercules the movie when they, he ride off on the chariot and the horse pulling it and they got fire going around the darn chariot, around the wheels. Okay, these people trying to tell you, but we ain't listening. We want to stay simple. The Lord says it's time for us to get out of simplicity. How long will you be simple? How long will you be simple when this word coming out? I'm giving it to you straight from the Bible. And they showing you moving. They helping us out by, by in concordance with the Bible. I'm telling you the moves they make. I'm showing you the chairs they got. I'm showing you the, the, the simulation and the moves that they putting out before your eyes. And we're not grasping. They showing you, you they, they showing you spaceship zipping back and forth in the sky. They say it zips so fast they can't keep on because of the chariots. Black Panther showed you. Independent Day showed you, uh, 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 the Terminator showed you, the War of the World showed you. All these movies are showing you. And I'm telling you, I'm showing you scriptures backing it up. Okay, okay, go to Ezekiel, go to Zechariah. Go to Zechariah, please. Zechariah, I'm, I'm, I'm on time. See, I, I'm, I'm getting good with it. I'm, I'm cutting it down with it ain't being so long. Because I know y'all mind is very simple right now because this word is... is we got to get out of them the first five books of, 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 of the New Testament. We got to start going forward. You got to start reading. This is Zachariah talking. Then I turn and lift up my eyes and look. Okay, Zachariah 1 through 5. Zachariah 1 through 5. Then I, I turn and lift up my eyes and look and beheld. And behold, a flying roux, a flying roux. Well, I, I had a precept on that. That is like a, uh, the flying roux is like a book spread it open. It's, it's exactly, I got a precept on it. The precept is Ezekiel 2 and 9. That it's a book spread it open. That's the flying roux, okay? And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roux, I see an open book. The length thereof is 20 cubits. I'm not, I, I'm not good at math, but 20 cubits, who is? You all figure it out. It got to be a pretty big book, 20 cubits. And the breadth thereof, 10 cubits. That's a pretty good book. Then it said he unto me, this is the curse that goes forth over the face of the whole earth because we, the world is going to be destroyed and these different curses, some of them are already here. That is coming. Now you got this virus coming from over there in China, in Japanese, wherever it come from. It's killing everybody. Like I told the guy, this is a test run. This is a test run. They see how they can make it work. So they come on here. One person get on the airplane, you can spread it to 52 countries. Because you get on the airplane, everybody come from a different country. So all they need is one person per country to spread it throughout the world. Okay? Then said unto me, this is the curse. This was in the book that he seen. That go forth over the face of the earth. The curse is going over the whole earth. The whole earth. But that's how you're going to get across. By the airplane, we got connection. Now you can, you can, they try to put masks on, but it, now it's in the United States, okay? For everyone that still shall be cut off as on the side according to it. Everyone that swear shall be cut off as one, as on the side according to it. According to According to what you do, you're going to get cut off from it. You got the dirt. The way they say, still up, shall be cut off. Who's still up a man? The Lord said, if you shall be caught with a man in your hand, and you still, we are still in slavery. All the other nations have still up a man. We're still in captivity. The Lord said, if they catch you, they catch us in their hand when they come back, that's how they're going to get wiped off. The Lord said, who's still up? If you go back to another precept, I, got, I want to cut it short, but it's another precept. When you read that Bible, it'll tell you to go to another page. When you read, I want you to study, do something on your own. It's a precept to that. They're still up a man. Whoever get caught, still up a man. It's in Deuteronomy. I'm going to give you a hint. Deuteronomy and Leviticus. Give you a hint. Whoever get caught with a man, he will, I'm praying for you. Whoever get caught, still up a man, he shall be killed. 
Steal of a man. Steal of me. That's what he's talking about. We are still in captivity. We are still stolen. They took us. Okay. Where I'm at now. Okay, yeah, getting good, man. You're getting good. And swear. Well, oh, I swear I ain't do that. You lying. Who the liars on earth? They lied to us. They painted the faces of the judges thereof. First Maccabee. They painted the faces of the judges thereof. They went in there and painted everybody in the Bible different. The judges are the prophets. They painted everybody white when they were originally black. So now we done caught a hold of that and we know better now. We know the people in the Bible were black now. But now if they, you see on their walls in the cathedral, they painted them white. But Maccabee said, they painted the faces of the judge. That's swearing, that's lying. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I will bring it forth, says the Lord of hosts, the most high. It shall enter into the house of the thief. Enter to the house. This is their house. The world is theirs own. They own this world. The so-called white folks are in control. The so-called other six nations are in control. We don't own nothing. This is their house. And into the house of him that swears falsely by my name. They preaching the word of God and they lying about the people. In I just read that to you in four. They, they, they swearing falsely. So they preaching us this word knowing that the people in the Bible are black. Knowing that Jesus is black. They ask you a color. They say all of them. Which all of them? Is he the green or all of the black? Are they number two all of them? Is he the green or the black? Which one is it? He damn sure ain't green. Ain't no green man. They'll tell you olive color. What the hell is an olive color man? So if this year, this is 2020. We done, we done, we done got smarter than that. So we know better. Here go, oh, here go, okay, here go, here go. It shall remain in the midst of his house. The, 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 the trouble, what they finna go into gonna remain over here in this, in this day house. It shall remain. The destruction shall remain. Oh, there it go. Did it, it it shall consume it. That fire coming, it's going to destroy this earth. Because this is not our earth. That's why you see the new earth coming now. We're going up in the chariots. Watch all this stuff. Destruction come down. And we coming back down. I'm just breaking this stuff down. It even breaking its own self down. Before I even get to it. Because I'm reading it just like you read. It even breaking its own self down before I even get to it. It said it can consume the house. Consume that means fire. They're going to burn it up. This is their house, people. This earth is their house. This is not our. Heaven... And hell is a condition. Right now, the so-called Negroes, the so-called 12 tribes of Hebrew Israelites, we are in hell. This is the heaven. They own everything. They're in your neighborhood. We don't own nothing. I don't care if you had a billion dollars. You don't own nothing. They can take it from you and drop it a dime. Heaven is not a place where you're going down there with a bunch of dogs going to pick for people poking. Hell is a condition. Hell is a condition. If you can't look around... And every, every city in the United States of America and abroad, the niggas are in the slum. The Mexicans are in the slum. The Indians are on reservation. Okay, where you go, we are in hell. They are in heaven. And the ones that are not in heaven, living up this life, they are two-time losers because they're going to lose in this world and they're going to lose in the next. That's why you see a white man will never have a pole cracker. Because he knows that he should be on top. Back in 19, maybe... 99 or 2000, I was working with a guy on electrician. His name was Ronnie Pope. I asked, I said, Ronnie, how come when y'all see them people stand on the street, you don't, you'd rather have a black man than a white? He said, the reason why we don't have a white man, he said, a white man has no business being poor. This come out of this man's mouth. He said, we have stolen everything. Thus says the Lord, he stole everything, so that's why we don't help him out. Because he had no business being poor. He poor because he choose to. They want to be with us so bad, they can, they family can have millions of dollars, but they would not do what their family say. They'd rather come live with us in the slum. They already cleaned it to us. You know this truth. I had a guy, he named George Selly. He come from Syria. If you know, if you know anything about Jacksonville, and the people knowing Jacksonville, right on Pearl Street where the women used to get all them shoes. That guy daddy owned that whole strip right there. He told him, and this guy married a white woman. His dad him disowned him. He said, you will get none of this until you go back home and get you one of our women. Guess what? He had to divorce that white woman, went back to Syria, and brought him a wife back from there. And his daddy gave him everything. Now he got two stoves. And they sold that strip. 
And now they got two stores. Everybody else go by our rules. What he doing? They the, they the fake Jews. 13.9. Revelation. They are living by our custom. Because we do not supposed to marry outside of the race. But we doing it. All the fake Jews are following pretty much the laws that we supposed to be following. following. We are marry any goddamn body. It don't make no difference. Because all we think about is ourselves. People don't know if a white a black woman marry a white man, her baby is doomed. But if a black man marry a white woman, that baby going to live. Read your Bible. Your pastor ain't going to tell you because they, let, they, they, they say God love everybody. That's why I tell you to study your Bible. It goes by the bloodline of the father. That black, that black child born from a white woman is a Hebrew Israelite child if he's born out of a black, a so-called Negro. But if that baby come out of a white man who married a black woman, that baby is a white baby. Because he's not a father. 99.9% .9 you are the father. I don't care where you go. So you are the seed of the father. Read over Diane and see what the Lord said going to do to all the Esau and Edomites. You better study this Bible. This stuff's serious. Okay. That was Ezekiel 1 and 5, okay? And that's where it's at. And the angel that talked with the angel that talked with me went forth and said unto me, lift up now thy eyes and see what is that goes forth. Huh? He told me, uh, uh, Zachary, stand up, open up your eyes and see this destruction that's going to be going forth here. But we don't want to pay attention to it. People, I gave it to you. I want to keep it short because if I don't, we'll get distracted. If you go to Revelation 11 and 12, I got to read this last one, please. 11, that's in, the, that's in the, uh, the last book of the Bible. The last book of the Bible. Revelation 11 and 12. 11 and 12. And then I'm going to close it. And they heard a great voice from heaven. This Revelation now. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. He talking to us. The Lord is up in the sky in them chariots. Come up to hither. The 12 tribes of Israel. Because you read Revelation 21, 12. Or either 12, 21. It got 12 gates. High and tall. And on the 12 gates. It got the 12 tribes of Israel. If your name ain't on that 12 tribes of Israel. You ain't making it. You can believe that or die. And they are sending. And they are sending to heaven. In a cloud on the chariot. And their enemies behind these so-called Edomites gonna see that swing low street chariot come on to carry me home. You're gonna swing up and get the third one third of God's people. And the enemy who are enemy, if you go to Deuteronomy 28, 68, God said we were sold into our enemy. We were sold into all the nations. So all the other nations are our enemy, and they're gonna see us lift up in them clouds. They're gonna say, them niggas was the people who God was talking about in the Bible. That's how the stars they're gonna be. They're gonna be so mad. Then they're gonna bring out them bombs that they got up in space and try to fight the most high. That's when the 20,000 angels gonna come down in the chair and destroy them. And then the Lord gonna bring us back down and we're gonna use them to rebuild the earth, the heaven. Because the heaven gonna be here after we rebuild it. Here you go. In the same hour, in the same hour, there are a great earthquake. A tenth part of the city fell. Tim is a number of completion. It can be the whole earth. In the earthquake, slain the men of 7,000. Seven is a number of completion. In the remus of their fright, gave glory to the God of heaven. They fell down and started worshiping God. The so-called Negro Israelites, the 12 tribes, the ones who are going to be left here, who ain't doing what God said, does not obey the law, and plus to all the other nations. Y'all gonna get glory to, oh Lord, you're gonna bow down to them. And we are the God, y'all gonna bow down to us too. Cause y'all gonna see the one who are paying attention to this word up in them chair. Y'all gonna bow down and you read Isaiah 14, they shall be our maid servant. Read Isaiah 14, 1. It'll tell you. People, I'm gonna this this the last part of him. The second war is past. World War II already gone. And behold, the third war comes quickly. The nuclear bomb, they're trying to get it started now. If you look at, what the name, Yon King, whatever that uh, uh, guy over there in, in, in North Korea. You heard what he said about the United States? 
Prepare for war. Shalom all my people. I love you. Take this word serious. Study and read it. The Lord, the Lord said we can't be simple. We got to get out of that simplicity. Proverbs 122. How long, you simple one, will you love simplicity? Get out of it. It's okay to read Matthew, Luke, and John. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But read the other Bible, and they will break all this stuff down. Shout out to my people. I do what I love. I love y'all. Please get this word. Study this word. Because this word going to help you out. When you start seeing them chariots come down, you'll understand what's going on. Amen.